So I went to uh, the uh, college library that uh, I go to to uh, for um, EKG and phlebotomy. Uh, since I don't like working outdoors in Chicago and 10 months of that in the winter time is too much for me. So I'm in school right now uh, and I have a final paper due in a few days and the library is closed, um, closed till 12. So I stopped into this uh, church thing, uh, church service that was being held in like this open room. And I was actually kind of impressed because they were the, the pastor, which was on this 1984 telescreen, basically, uh, I guess it was projected from Tulsa. Uh, and he was saying how terms like sodomite, that, that is, we should, that Christians shouldn't use that because it lists what the sin of Sodom is in Ezekiel and has nothing to do with rape or homosexuality. The biggest sin they they, uh, the biggest sin of Sodom was not helping the poor and the needy. It wasn't raping angels or anything like that. And I was kind of impressed with that. And he said, look, uh, and this is, I've said this for a while, sectioning out s sexual sin or homosexuality is no different from stealing, gluttony, anything like that. And gluttony is actually one of the things listed in Ezekiel. So I was uh impressed by that but then he said that the bible was the uh sole um source of truth which second timothy came to my mind or first uh, third chapter of timothy came to my mind um the church is the pillar and sport of truth or maybe it's the second thessalonians um but I generally liked it. It was non-liturgical. I had the jam band set up. Uh, but I was impressed that a Protestant would say that, you know. And, of course, the dude had the Buddy Holly glasses on and he was wearing a zip-up hoodie. But I'm I'm actually glad to hear that uh, coming from the Protestants. It seems like they're coming around. Uh, and I just wanted to say that, you know. Um, and, uh, yeah, I guess that's it for this video. Peace to you.